Hello, our primary academy parents from years one to six. It's Mr. Water speaking here. I'm just going to share with you our primary end of term one report overviews for this academic year. And I'm going to speak a little bit about our Learning Ladders portal and how this will support you as parents at home. As you can see on screen, this is what the one page format will look like. You will have your student's name, their date of birth, their class and their teacher identified. Just below this, you will see the attendance and punctuality ratings. So you can see um, the percentage of attendance for this term one and punctuality. And punctuality relates to um, late on a school morning. You'll also see that we have included the attendance rating, which is in line with the KHDA inspection framework. And as a minimum, we should be expecting students to at least have an attendance percentage of 96% or above. OK, it's really important for student progress and to ensure that they are attaining age related curriculum standards that they attend school as much as much as possible um, and also that they are, uh, attend school on time in the morning um, so that they're not continually missing the same lessons. As we scroll down, you will see that each child has an end of year predicted attainment judgment okay and this is shared for the core subjects of reading writing maths science arabic islamic moral social and cultural studies on the right hand side you'll have their predicted attainment which is based upon the end of year judgment that the students received in the last academic year it's also based upon the baseline assessments that we've been doing at the start of this academic year. And it's also based upon the work and progress that the students are making in terms of attainment this term. OK, and this attainment prediction is based on all of those things. And we triangulate all of those things to predict where we think the students will be at at the end of this academic year. As I scroll down, you will see that there are four different attainment gradings. We have got working below, working towards, working at and working above. And these are all in terms of the curriculum standards. So a working below a judgment would mean that your child is being assessed on the end of year age related curriculum expectations outside of their current year group. That means that a child may be working, is in year two, but is in fact being assessed against year one objectives because they need to plug some gaps in their learning. Working towards the curriculum standard is your child is working towards the end of year related curriculum expectations. This means that they're not quite secure in the curriculum standards. However, they are working towards that and are receiving uh, lots of support uh, within their current year group. Working at the curriculum standard, this is where uh, your child would be secure in the end of year related, end of year age related curriculum expectations. And this is where we would expect students to be at the end of each academic year. And last but not least, we have got working above the curriculum standard. These are students who are going above and beyond and they exceed end of year age related curriculum expectations. They are applying lots of their understanding to different contexts and they are deepening their understanding and knowledge. And therefore, they are working above the curriculum standard for their current year group. You will see above that the Islamic section on this report is blank and that just identifies that this student who I put as myself doesn't actually um, attend Islamic lessons. So if this is blank, that means that the, your child doesn't attend Islamic lessons. If there is a, a, an attainment judgment there, obviously your child will attend uh, Islamic uh, lessons. 
this here gives you as parents a really clear oversight of where teachers currently expect your child to be at the end of this academic year. Now, these are not set in stone, so these judgments can change throughout the academic year. And it's really important that you keep an open dialogue with classroom teachers um, so that we can work as a team around the child to ensure that we can push all students to reach their maximum potential. Just at the foot of the one page document, you will see that I have inserted a small paragraph explaining about ladders at home. So ladders at home will give you further insights on your child's progress against curriculum objectives that are being taught in term one. It will highlight strengths, it will highlight areas to develop, and also it will provide articles that can help you, parents, support from home. And I would like to show you this as this is a fantastic portal which really enables you to know exactly what your student strengths are, your and your child's strengths are, and what their next steps are. This is hyperlinked, so if you do click ladders at home, it should take you to this page here. All you need to do is enter your email address and your password. If you've forgotten your password, if you click recover your account, an email will be sent from the Learning Ladders team and they will support you in setting up a new password. If you have yet to sign up into Ladders at Home, please do reach out to Jen Balboa, who is our primary data manager, as she will be more than happy to help you in the setup of this. Along with this video, I have included a short paragraph and this includes Miss Balboa's email address. Once you've signed into your Ladders at Home account, this screen will appear here. As you can see, I've created a demo student and I have created some assessments for this student. You can see at the top on the left hand side, it, it says my children. If you press that, this icon, you can then fluctuate between the students, your children at home. So if you have a, a child in year one, and year three and year six per se, you can click here and you can select which, which child you would like to uh, look at. If there is only one, uh, if you only have um, one child in your family, then obviously they will only have one icon here. This here, I am currently on the summary page, okay? And if I load more, as you can see, these are all of the assessments I have inputted for this student, okay? If you go on to goals, okay, you can change the subject. So you can actually look at reading, you can look at writing, you can focus on maths, and you can focus on all subjects that sh your child children have currently been assessed against. That could be Arabic, Islamic, PE, French, music, all of those subjects will appear on here. This is a really nice breakdown that you can see what this, your what your child has been learning at home, at, in school, sorry, okay? And it really identifies whether your child has grasped that objective or whether they're still working on it. As you can see, as I hover over, if you see a little tick, that means that that objective has been secured, okay, which is fantastic. And it does say they're completed. If you hover over the timer in the top right hand corner, that says that this objective is currently still in progress. And this is something that your child still needs to work upon in order to become secure. And these will indicate next steps. The ticks are, are, the, are your children's strengths and the timers are their next steps. As parents, and a fantastic feature of the Learning Ladders system is the articles that are presented to you. So you will see at the foot of each objective that there are articles related to this which will support you as parents at home. 
if you click on that it will bring up an array of articles that link to that objective so that objective is all about um rounding i think it was rounding rounding uh, numbers to the nearest one million ten hundred thousand ten thousand and so on so if i click this this article at the top this will support you as parents as you go down the left hand side it actually indicates some details about what will be in this article it gives you an overview of what's expected what this means why it's important and why it is taught it gives you an idea of how it may be taught in schools it gives you an idea of investigations and tasks that you could do from home it tells you as parents how to support your children which i think is a really nice feature it gives some teacher tips as well again some home activities and games and some supporting activities at home it also gives some next steps whether that be to stretch uh, students learning or to plug um, a misconception and it also identifies some suggested resources this is an amazing tool an amazing feature of the ladders at home system that you can use at your disposal as parents at home if I go back to the goals and uh, the summary, you will also see that there are the pupil report section. Now you will only see a pupil report section if your child was at the academy last year and they received a end of year report on learning ladders. If not, this will be blank and there'll be nothing to see on here. All term one reports now currently will be shared via our GEMS Connect app. Last but not least, I just wanted to show you another fantastic feature, which is the translate feature. If I go to summary, I've got all of the goals, objectives in English. If I go to translate and I click the country icon here to change language, you have an option to change the language to over 100 different languages. So if I wanted to read this in Croatian, I click this. And all of the objectives will now be uh, changed their language to be in Croatian. OK, if I go back and go back to the default, which is English. If you've got a speaker next to language, that means that the system will speak to you and will read the objectives out loud if you would like to use that feature as well but that is a, a fantastic feature of our ladders at home portal that really benefits lots of our families who have recently visited dubai and if they would like to read their their students progress they can do that in their language of their choice there are also an array of different features at the top where you can select color themes, you can enable or disable uh, a ruler, okay? Um, a screen mask as well, so it really just focusing on where you're hovering over. There are lots of different icons that you can use as well at the top, which I have shared previously that you may wish to use. But the main one I would say is the translate button and changing language. Thank you so much, primary parents from years one to six. Just a summary, you will receive a one page uh, report for term one, which will indicate your child or children's end of year attainment uh, picture. And this will be uploaded to the GEMS Connect app. The hyperlink is on there for ladders at home. Please do visit this website as this is an amazing website which states your child's progress, their strengths and their next steps. And if you have any issues logging in to Ladders at Home, please do contact Miss Balboa and I will send the email in the short paragraph that I create. If you do have any questions or concerns regarding the reports, please do reach out to your child's class teacher. Thank you, everybody.